we're going to do a, a video, a follow-up video on um, on the pacer. Uh, you may recall another video I did of Ant's um, Valiant collection, and this was work in progress, so she's come a long way. Engine's back in. No grills at the moment, but looks pretty mean. 99.9%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's looking good. What have you done to this since you've had it in? So, uh, most recently, I did a head gasket, so obviously that necessitated a, a new one, but while I was at that, it was sort of a thought it was one of those escalating things. It was, well, if I'm doing that, if the head's off, I might as well do the rings. If I'm doing the rings, I might as well do the yeah. blah, blah, blah. So it became a whole thing. So essentially it's a fresh motor now. Other than that, I've, uh, I guess, put it back more original. Right. So it was originally running uh, triples. Uh, I took the headers off to have those recoded. So because I can't stop myself from fiddling with stuff. Yeah. I thought, oh well, I'll put the original carb and everything back on. So yeah, it's still a project. Yeah, I yeah. Think. But it's close, closer to to stock. Yeah, than yeah. What it now was when you bought it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Technically uh, detuned it, I guess. But um, I always like that original look anyway. So yeah. Triple's always good, but I got them on my other car anyway, so... Yeah. And eventually, I guess, when I put the headers back on, I'll put those triples back on as well, so. Yeah. we we'll get the chance to park in this intersection again. Well, not, not in, intentionally. <laughs> so, this is a 1970. 70? Yeah, 1970 VG Pacer. Um, from the VG range, but obviously the, the Pacers themselves were sort of a model line of their own in a sense. Had your, this is ba you had your base model, which this is, base model VG, two barrel carb. Then the, you had the E31 and E34, which were the track pack cars. Uh, E31 was two barrel, E34 big tank with four barrel. So yeah, it's sort of a range within a range. Um, I think they made somewhere around 1100, 1200 of them originally, for attrition and what have you, not a whole lot surviving. Right, yeah. So if you bought this in 1970, it would have looked pretty sim pretty close oh, to this, e exactly right the throughout. Same, yeah, yep. there, there were slightly different options along with, you know, this is the hockey stick, uh, stick stripe. Uh -huh. You could get a bonnet blackout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the track pack cars also had a stripe across the boot. Yeah. But, well, some, again, all, all option, but um, this is pretty, as I say, the, the base model. So, yep. this is what you get off the showroom floor. In that color, yeah, it looks great. That's actually there. We go, that should be like that. Wow, that looks really good. Yeah, well, as I say, so it did have the, the triples on it, which obviously was a different manifold and didn't have the um, air cleaner. But uh, I've, I've always liked that factory look yeah. anyway, so there's no you know, no harm running it like that for now. So that's the uh, famous, infamous 245 Hemi. So the, the, the VG range was the first to have the, the Hemi in it. They were all, you know, slants or 318s or what have you before that. So the VF being a facelift model of the VG, which only uh, didn't have the Hemi. Yeah. So this is the older, smaller brother of the 265 Hemi. Rattly old Hemi. Yeah. So your 
exhaust and that stock and everything as well? Uh, no, so still still running the twin pipes from fat factory as a single pipe, but that, that's just sort of one of those things that was, you know, there's putting it back to factory and then there's the stuff like that's more hassle than it's worth and you, you know, you're not really gaining too much. Yeah. Like I say, you might put the head, put some different headers yeah, yeah, so back yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. The, re the reason I took them off to start with is they were is that the HPC coat, it was just sort of worn out of it. Oh, yeah. So it was letting down the engine bay, so oh, yeah. just got those redone. Looking at it now, actually, they would be nice seeing the fresh ones back in there. And would they sound and perform differently? Like, are they. Oh, I did definitely a different exhaust note from it. Yeah. Uh, there, there is a performance bump, but you yeah. know, it's negligible and, and to be yeah. honest a car of this vintage I, I don't you know I'm not driving it yeah. hard enough to make any difference so. yeah yeah we were talking about your tires before mm. the old I remember the old uh, Eagles used to be the the tire de jour back in the day when I was in my teens and uh, there's a, two different camps with the Eagles and the uh, BF Goodrich if you've enjoyed this video uh, like and subscribe because um, I'm working on making more and more and bringing interesting car content to the channel and this is one of them so um, and this is one of the only chances we're going to get to do this on this section of road it's just lucky us that someone must have known we were coming and they left the gate open <laughs>